in the presence of God. We thank God, amen, for his presence, for all those that are, amen, present under the sound of my voice on today, for the sick and shut in, amen, we pray for them on today, for them that are not present, but for those that desire to be present, we thank God, amen, for uh, Sister Marquia, man, my wife already mentioned, but it's always good to see, amen, the woman of God and all those that we haven't seen in some time to uh, come and show their face in the house and be a blessing to us on today. We do ask you to uh, govern yourselves according to the announcements. We're about to go under a, a major transformation, um, a good transformation. There's uh, uh, the women's ministry that you're going to hear word about that's um, about to be birthed. Uh, very soon, the, the template, the blueprint's been in place for a while, but now it's time for it to come forth. As uh, my dear brother, my soldier, mentioned, uh, Brother Maurice in the back, we had an awesome time last night just uh, opening up those that were here, those that were not here, that were praying for us. We pray that as the word gets out, even the more so that God's truly, truly going to bless the men of God to stand up right. But uh, my mother, uh, Minister of Music, uh, Sister Cynthia Jenkins and Prophetess Branch is going to be uh, getting with those real soon, um, along with uh, uh, Brother Keith, uh, our, our lead drummer, as far as uh, putting together finally uh, the, the official makings of the choir that uh, we're going to form. So stay tuned for announcements as far as uh, the first official rehearsal, and we're about to really get this thing moving and rolling in the right direction. Long time overdue. God has had uh, a few, few willing and uh, able voices, but now that God is, uh, you know, bringing just more, more direction and and then more help and, and more anointing, it's time to go forth that we can usher in the presence of the Lord as it ought to be ushered in. Amen. 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 But without further ado, we're going to open up the Book of Judges. Uh, we're going to come from a topic today, simply called uh, "To Heal a Broken Heart." Mm. My God, to heal a broken amen. heart. Thank you, Jesus. And I won't, amen, add the Lord. It's a very, very encouraging message on today that uh, as we go further along, you will understand what the Lord is designed to say to his people yes. on this beautiful Sabbath afternoon. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask you what you have, uh, Judges chapter 14, if you may stand for uh, the reading of the Word of God, verses 1 through 4. The Bible says that Samson went down to Timnath and saw a woman in Timnath to the daughters of the Philistines. And he came up and told his father and his mother and said, I have seen a woman in Timnath to the daughters of the Philistines. Now, therefore, Get her for me to wife. Then his father and his mother said unto him, Is there never a woman among the daughters of thy brethren or among all thy people that thou goest to take a wife of the uncircumcised Philistines? And Samson said unto his father, Get her for me, for she pleaseth me well. But his father and his mother knew not that it was of the Lord that he sought an occasion against the Philistines for at that time the Philistines had dominion over Israel. You may be seated. Uh, verse 4 is, uh, but his father and his mother knew not that it was of the Lord. Amen. It is, it is necessary for us to be connected. Yes. Amen. For what God is saying. Yes. Because making one false move, it may cause a lifetime of pain. But thank God, amen, for the one we serve, he is a healer. Amen. God truly is a healer, but amen, we're going to go through the further parts of the word. God's going to do something on today. We want to establish, amen, what is going on here. He, uh, Samson desired, amen, to marry this woman from Timnath and told his father and his mother to go and seek her out as we continue to walk through the scriptures as they uh, go and uh, uh, make amends and, and they uh, put forth uh, the riddle. And, and you know the story, amen, so I'm going to fast forward and then. And, and, and Samson puts the, puts the riddle out, and as he puts a, puts a riddle, uh, they uh, deceive his wife to obtain, amen, the answer to the riddle. And as they get the answer to the riddle and share it with him, amen, this sends Samson to a place down in verse 19. And the Bible says, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon him because he was, he was very wroth because they deceived his wife to get the answer. And once they met, he had to go and, and, and obtain the diary of his debt to pay his debt 
I right, come to fourth and fourth of verse 19 where it says the spirit of the Lord came upon him and he went down to Ashkelon and slew 30 men of them and took their spoil and gave change of garments unto them which expounded the riddle and his anger was kindled and he went up to his father's house but Samson's wife was given to his companion who had used as his friend. I'm going to continue reading in chapter 15, verse 1 and 2, that you understand and that we can build a foundation for where we're going with this. It says, But it came to pass within a while after, in the time of wheat harvest, that Samson visited his wife with a kid, and he said, I will go into my wife, into the chamber, but her father would not suffer him to go in. Verse 2, And her father said, I barely thought that thou hadst utterly hated her, Therefore I gave her to thy companion. Is not her younger sister fairer than she? Take her, I pray thee, instead of her. And from this moment here, and many things begin to happen, from this point when, when Samson uh, went to marry the woman, and, and, and after, uh, again, the, the riddle was obtained from uh, his wife, from the Philistines, he went in a rage and killed 30 men to take their garments and pay off the debt. And then he just left. He just left the scene, amen. And, and he was just just despondent that his wife deceived him. He was he was hurt and he was uh, very distraught over the fact and the anger overtook him and, and he just forgot what he was about to do and did not care for a moment. He left and once he came to census, he came back. But when he came back, the father had already given uh, his wife to be to that who was designated to be his companion. And from that point, it meant building a foundation. Uh, he went to a further rage when the father said that she's already been given. Uh, you need to now settle for the second best. And he went and, and goes to take 300 foxes and, 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 and ties fire bands to their tails and sends them through, through the cornfields. And, and, and from that point, the Philistines, they are, are upset from what he had done. So now they go and kill his wife-to-be and her father because they felt that she was the cause, although they deceived her, to get the riddle. So then Samson is further enraged, and he goes now and retaliates. And, and you'll see where this is going. He smites now the Philistines that killed his fiance and her father. So yeah, it's just a, a retaliatory situation just, just going back and forth. And then once he smokes the Philistines, then now they're enraged, and then they go to retaliate, and they come to the men of Judah, and 3,000 men of Judah come to Samson and say, look, this, this retaliation piece, where well, we had enough of it. Amen. You kill them, they're now trying to trouble us. Amen. Uh, you're hurt, now they're hurt. It's just too much going on here, so we ask you, Samson, to basically surrender yourself that we can create peace in this atmosphere, in this season in our life. So Samson said, amen, I'll go in peace. So I ask you don't come upon me because it won't be a good look for you guys to try to overtake. Because when the spirit of the Lord falls upon me, amen, I can't control what's going to happen as an outcome. So they say, we're not going to hurt you, but please go willingly. So Samson goes willingly and say, I'll surrender. But once the spirit of the, of, of the living God drops on him, he says, no, it's not going to go down that way. God sent me to be a deliverer. Amen. And who can crook, even if it goes the wrong way, I'm going to fulfill the will of God, even, amen, if it's not what you think it should be. I'm going to do what God anointed me to do. So the Spirit of the Lord falls upon him, and he now takes the what? Jawbone of an ass. Yes. And he goes and kills the Philistines that were about to approach him. And my God, you may be saying, it, it just seems like it's too much for me to handle. Why is Samson going in such a rage? And why is Samson acting like a lunatic for the majority of his life? Well, people of God, I want to submit to you on today that not just is Samson the only one that went this path, but we have also went that route when we were suffering from a broken heart. Oh my God, we're about to go somewhere in this place. Keep, keep in mind where, where, where we went, where all of this rage started, where all this retaliation was birthed from. And it came from the fact that he went back, he may have missed that part of the story, to marry a woman. And when he comes back to marry the woman, she's been given to another brother who we feel is less than his equal. Now, it's one thing if you can say to yourself, uh, uh, I don't know how many have been in relationships and, 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 and whether, they be, whether you were married or a uh, boyfriend or girlfriend in high school or since high school and you end up losing out to the woman or to the man that you really desire to be with. How does that make you feel? Has anyone ever been there, done that, where, where you say to yourself, how did she or how did he end up with him or her? 
Uh, I see some hands popping up all over the building. And it's one thing if the brother or the sister, and maybe I got, got, got it, if we keep it 100, she got a, a little bit more back than you did, or she may be a little more busty, or you may have thought she's a little cuter, or if the brother can say that his pockets may be a little bit deeper. Come on, somebody. And, and, and the truth be told, if we can keep it real, and, and if the lady, I know some brother that came back and they would say, uh, uh, we have children here, so we'll, 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 keep, we'll keep it real simple. But they would come back and say that you know, he might have been a little bit more or, or this and that in certain areas than you. So if the truth be told, you know, this is the reason why. And if the brother has to just take it on the chin and say, okay, I lost to someone who was a little bit better. Or the, the female may have to say, I lost to someone that just may have been a bit more better for, for the companion that I love. But he felt that it was a better fit. But Samson's coming back on the scene saying, this brother's not even my equal. Come on, I, I, I mean, I'm anointed, I'm empowered, I'm not just a man of God. I'm, I'm, I'm the builders, buffers, brother. I put my time in the play at fitness. I put my time in it at all, all, all the local spots, the LA Fitness around here. I'm busting out my shirts. Come on, you put the oil on me. I'm, I can sit there and I can pose. And, and obviously, by, by the brother's track record, he, he had to be laying it down in some sort of way. So he said, I'm the best man in the land. And I can't accept losing to someone that's not even on my level. Right. In the spirit or in the natural. Right. And it sets Samson in a tissue. Come on, who knows what we're talking about in this place? Come on, I, I can relate. And I, I told my wife, she was with me during that time in, in, uh, in college when I met her. And, and she caught me coming off the, the time of a broken heart. If the truth be told, and, and it was an identical situation as I look into it, and, and I was with someone, and, and I thought that, you know, and my wife, we were, we were talking about it. I was sharing with her that, you know, I'm probably going to go back home and be with such and such, and and, and I got long-term plans of the barrier and things like that, and, and we was kind of talking, chopping up, you know, for those that don't know, she was my best friend way back then, and we talked a little bit about everything. Well, lo and behold, she decided to go with a, with a, with a dude hustling. 